everybody, Larry here, and welcome back to Larry's Fountain Pen. Yep, I'm Larry, and I've got to do uh, some pen comparison between two pens that are well known, and you can decide which one you like. It's going to be between the Platinum for uh, Preppy and the one and only Pilot Pumex that looks like a squid or something or whatever. Like this, like that. So, here's the two pens in question. They both have medium nibs. This, uh, the Preppy, as always, it stays inked up with Noodler's Base State Blue. Uh, ink I truly love. And uh, this uh, Plumex is inked up with the uh, Fountain Revolution Blue. And that will be on the next review. So, stay tuned. So, what do you say we... Uh, show you how they function and write and all that good stuff that fountain pens do. What do you say? Let's do it. We'll start with the, with the uh, pile of Pumex first. It's plastic through and through. And the head of it, the cap unscrews, looks like a squid. And it has a steel nib, medium, medium steel nib, and I have the cartridge in it, and if you want, you can always use this as an eyedropper, which I don't normally do. Just remember to get your uh, silicone uh, grease, and don't forget to grease it down here, and then uh, slip this little jewel back on, and then you're in pretty good shape. Does it cap? Well, let's see. Yes, it caps. Okay. Does it write? Let's see if it writes. So here's the pilot. Pilot. All right, and this is a medium nib. Okay. Now we'll just set that little jewel aside, and as we all know, this is the preppy platinum preppy. Nice little pen. I've always liked this pen. I've had this for a few years now. All plastic as well, pull off cap, and uh, this, my friend, is an eye drop filled. In fact, this is the only pen that I keep as an eye dropper, and I fill it with my noodlers. They stay blue. So here's a writing below on this one. Here's a preppy. All right, there you go. So now we're going to do some line comparisons between the pilot and we're going to do the preppy. The preppy seems to have a thinner line going down, so let's do the cross stroke. And they're both about the same to me there. So I'll relook at the nib to make sure that I got it right. And yes, I have got that right. So let's check for wetness. This is Tumbo River paper. Nice wet. And we'll do the pilot one. Here we go. And this nib seems a lot harder. And there you go. But both are wet. So, what do you think? The pilot or the preppy. Which one would you prefer? What do you think? This one or this one? Both good pens, don't you think? Well, that's going to wrap this one up, but this is uh, for you guys to determine which one 
would you prefer? They run about, what, $4.95, somewhere in there? So, they're great for newbies. People starting out for getting into the fountain pen world. And, well, even for the uh, fountain pen enthusiast that just loves fountain pens. Uh, they're good fountain pens. Uh, they're good uh, workhorse pen. You can write with them. I wrote with them for hours already, so uh, they work fine for me. Okay, that's going to wrap this one up. So, thanks for watching. Thanks for having me in your home. And uh, hit that like button. And don't forget to leave your comments below. And, as always, be safe and don't text and drive. I'll see you later.